In this tutorial, I will show you exactly how to use HoneyBook. So I'll go over all of its features from taking payments to sending invoices to setting up bookings and schedulings and workflows and everything else offered in HoneyBook. So first, just head over to honeybook.com and you can just start a free trial without needing to enter any credit card details. Now here, enter somewhere else or USA or Canada, depending on where you're from, I'll say USA or Canada. And that's going to take you to the sign up where you will get your seven day free trial. So I'll just sign up with Google. Then here, enter your business name, company type, phone number, and how did you hear about HoneyBook? And then click start seven day free trial and it will then go and create your account. Now, one really easy way to get started is to just add your website link right here, and then they will tailor your account to match your branding and business expression. So if you have a website, I recommend entering the URL right here and then click import from website. If you don't have a website, then click no thanks. Then we ask, what do you want to start with? So invoices, contracts, scheduling, service guide, CRM or lead capture. I'm just going to get started with the scheduling, but whichever one you pick, you can do all of them. Then we ask what's the main tool you use to run your business. So for example, a CRM or business management software, accounting software, scheduling tool, or any of these other ones. I'll go with scheduling tool. Then how long have you had your business? I'll say one to two years. And what is your average annual business revenue? I'll say 50 to 200 and click next. Then do you mostly work with businesses or with individuals? Now, if you do both, then you just want to select both. But for this example, I will go individuals and click next. And that's going to take you to your actual HoneyBook account. From here, you can go and bring your relationships to HoneyBook. So if you have a CRM, for example, you can import it from your CRM. You can import manually from Google Sheets or a spreadsheet. Now, for example, I'll just not import anything. And then here from the website, they've taken a few logos. So I'm going to just click on next right there. And then you can set up your first session. So enter details about the session. And the reason that for me it starts with the scheduling is because at the onboarding process, I entered that I would like to start with the scheduling. Now, if you pick something else, then you will most likely see something else. Now here you can set up your first session. So first enter the session name. So this is kind of a session type. So for example, a discovery call. And then you can select what type of a meeting it is. So is it in person, a phone call, video or other, I'll say video. Then you can set the duration in minutes or hours. You can set a potential price if you want to and a time zone and then click next. Then here you can click on preview form to see what your scheduling form looks like and I'll also show you how you can set your availability and stuff like that. But right here you can see what it looks like. So it does have a very nice look in my opinion so people can pick a time and then they can just enter their details and click submit. They can also see it on phone right here so they can just pick a day and time and then just fill in the details and then have scheduled in that discovery call in this case. Now after you do that you will then see the steps to really get started with HoneyBook. I recommend just going through all of this. So first you can choose your plan. If you click view prices, you can see which plans they offer. So it ranges from $19 per month to $79 per month. For example, if you use QuickBooks, then the essentials plan can be worth it since you have the integration. Also, if you want automations, if you want to remove the HoneyBook branding, etc., then the Essentials plan is worth it. But for most of their most basic features, the starter plan is perfectly fine. So I'll just go back to the home screen and keep using the free trial. Then here in the Manage Your Services section, you can click Add a Service, and then you can go ahead and add a service name, for example, Digital Marketing. Now you can write a description, so give clients more info about your service, so Facebook advertisement, for example. And then you can add a quantity if it's applicable, an item, month or whatever, I'll say one month and then the unit price, for example, $500. And then you can see the service price, $500 for this. Now you can also add an image if you want and click add service. So then you have created this service. Now they already have a few of them as examples. And this is basically taken from your website using the AI. So the website I entered is a recruitment agency. So therefore there's construction recruitment, construction project management, and more stuff that is on the actual website. So therefore it is very helpful to upload your website. 
Now you can upload your business files if you want so that you can share files really easily with your team. You can also go to templates to create your own templates. And there's also a template gallery that already has, for example, a coaching agreement and a whole bunch of different stuff right here. For example, if you go to food and drinks, you will see an NDA agreement, liability waiver, and a whole lot of other templates that you can just use for free. Then you can also create a lead form, so easily link a lead form on your website. So if you already have a website, then you can just create a lead form. So this one right here is called discovery call, and this is just the scheduling. You can also create a new one if you want, and then you can choose the form type. So a one-time consultation, inquiry form, a partnership form, VIP day, whatever you want to do right here. For example, an inquiry form, and then you can just enter some details that you want to request. And then you can also share this wherever you want. And then finally, in the onboarding process here, you can set yourself up for online payments. So you can click add bank info, then select your business type. So individual, sole proprietor or LLC partnership corp. So I'll say individual. And then here you can just enter your bank details in order to connect your bank and actually start taking payments. You can also click client payment methods and then you can see you have card payments and ACH payments and they do have really competitive processing fees. So for card payments, 2.9% plus 25 cents and for ACH payments, 1.5%. I think this is pretty much the exact same as the Stripe fees. So it is actually a good payment processor. Now from here, you can also click domain and client portal. And here you can even connect your own domain if you want and you can set up a client portal. So that's everything that they have in the onboarding right here, but there is quite a few more things that you can do using HoneyBook. Now, what you may want to do really depends on what kind of business you have, but what I would recommend is to first set up your calendar so that you can book client meetings yourself into, for example, your Google calendar. And then you can also read and respond to every new client message by connecting your email right here. Now this home screen offers a really easy overview of everything. So you can see your templates, you can see tasks that you need to do. You can see notes, you can see payments and in which category they currently are. You can really easily create an invoice and there's much more that you can do right here. Now at the top, you also have projects. So you can go and create a new project since HoneyBook can also be used for project management. So if I click create new, I can then enter a project type. So this could, for example, be a client. And then you can choose the type of project that is, for example, coaching, design, an event, a wedding, a party, whatever it is for you. I'll say coaching, then the lead source. So where did you get this lead from? I'll say Instagram. And I would recommend entering this so that you can always see what your main lead sources are. They can add them to a stage. So I'll show you in a second. They also have a pipeline where you can see everyone in each stage. And then you can also use it as an actual CRM. But for example, I'll say this one is in discovery. They can set the time zone and a start date and then click create project. Then here you can create a new client or an existing client and just enter their details here. Or if it's an existing client, you can just pick them from here. For example, I'll take this sample client and click add to project. So now here you can actually see your pipeline and you have the main view. But if you want to customize it, you can just create a new view and then click customize pipeline. And then here you can just choose what you want it to be. So you can click on something to deactivate it. And basically you can kind of customize it right here. So for example, the person I just added was in discovery and that's this one right here. Now you can also add a tag to a specific client. So for example, hot lead or premium package, and you can send a file to them and that will then be sent to their email address. For example, an invoice, contract, service, or whatever you want to send them. Now then to actually keep track of the client and kind of manage it, you can then click on that client. And then here you can see the activity. You can add any team members of yourself. So a collaborator or team member that is going to work on this client. And you can send them emails from here. You can add any notes that you want. You can send them payment requests. So that's again, the invoices and you can change the stage right here. For example, if you've sent a proposal, you could move them to proposal. You can also send them a client portal link. You can use their time tracker right here to see how much time has been spent on this client. 
And basically, there's a whole lot of things you can do with HoneyBook. Now, if you have a business that works with clients, with larger clients, then HoneyBook is a very powerful tool that I definitely recommend trying out. Now, you can also manage your leads here. So you have your contacts, lead forms, contact forms, you have a Chrome extension, and you can send batch emails. You can also upload your files here. You have your templates. And then what I want to show next is the automations. So you have a few of them already created, for example, a Calendly automation, then onboard a new client and lead capture using lead form. Now, for example, if I take a look at this one, you can see this is a pre-built automation. So when a lead form is submitted, it waits for 30 minutes and then sends them a file via email. And then if you click on it, you can see which file it sends. So the basic questionnaire. And then there's a condition. So file was completed within three days, yes or no. If yes, then send file via email. And then they send the invoice. If no, then send a reminder. And then was it completed in three days? If yes, then send file via email. If no, create a task. So you can just build this as well. And if you want to activate this one, for example, you can just click activate and then it's going to start actually running this automation. Now you can also, of course, create your own automation by clicking create automation. They can set a trigger. So first you have your app triggers right here. So any integrated apps that you may have, you can see, for example, Calendly meeting scheduled. You can also do, for example, a contract signed, a first payment made, file is completed or any of these other ones. So I'll say contact form submitted. Then what I want to do is plus and then an action. So when a contact form is submitted, then I want to create a task for a team member and they can type the task right here. For example, call lead and they can assign it to one of your team members. Now I only have one person, so I'll just assign it to me and then click activate. And now whenever someone has the contact form submitted, then in my home screen, I will have a new task right here that says call lead. And then I know that there's a new lead that I need to call. Now you also have some tools, so your calendar, scheduler, integrations, your tasks can also be seen from here, the time tracker and library. And you can also keep track of your finances using HoneyBook. So if I go to the overview here, you can see some reporting. So how much money is coming in and you can also enter how much you are spending in the expenses right here. So if you can click create a new expense and then new expense, and then you can choose a date that it was at a description category and then for which project this expense was, and then you can enter an amount and then that will be tracked as well. Then here you can also track your profit and loss. You can connect to your QuickBooks right here. And the other integrations that they offer, you can see in tools, if you go to integrations, so you have your regular email, Google contacts, calendar, Zoom, QuickBooks, HoneyBook, Chrome extension, then through Zapier, it integrates with pretty much anything. And then you have your Calendly, Monday, Meta Leads, Asana, and Slack. So now you know the basics of how to use HoneyBook. Now there are a lot more details to go into, but that would just take hours. And now you do have a basic understanding of how you can get started with HoneyBook. So again, when you first get started, I recommend just starting with this checklist because that is a great way to get up and running. But remember, you don't immediately have to choose your plan and pay for it. You can just stay on your seven day trial. So now you know how to use HoneyBook. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.